हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज योर स्मद बाबू सर फ्रॉम दिस वीडियो यूड लाइक टू एक्सप्लेन द ग्राफ ऑफ क्लास एथ फ्रॉम एपीएन तेलंगाना स्टेट बोर्ड्स एक्सरसाइज सेवन पॉइंट थ्री सेकेंड प्रॉब्लम कंस्ट्रक्ट ए हिस्टोग्राम फॉर द मार्क्स अपटेन बै सिक्स हंड्रेड स्टूडेंट्स इन दि सेवेंथ क्लास ऐनुअल एग्जामेषन मार्क्स are given 360 marks got 100 students 400 marks got 125 students 440 marks got 140 students 480 marks got 95 students 520 marks got 80 students 560 got 60 students so here marks are given but like previous problem 60 to 70 class intervals are not given so first of all we have to construct the class intervals by using this marks the marks consider as class marks class marks means mid values of this class intervals are given so we have to construct the class intervals first then only we can construct histogram for the given data first of all we have to find the size of the class here these class marks are given so by using this class marks we can find the size of the class size of the class is equals to solution is equals to the difference between any two consecutive class marks so 400 minus 360 we can consider this one as h is equals to 400 minus 360 that is 40 and 440 minus 400 40 480 minus 440 40 520 minus 480 40 560 minus 520 40 so this is the size of the class so take half of this size of the class h by 2 h by 2 is equals to 40 by 2 that is equals to 20 so how can we construct the class interval class marks consider as x Right. Class interval we construct like this. Lower limit as x minus h by two. Two. This is not minus two. Dash x plus h by two. X plus h by two. Construct class intervals of the given data. So marks are given. Sixty. Four hundred. 440 480 by using this class marks it is denoted by x class interval given frequency so this is the class mark we can consider as x so 360 first class interval we have to find the by using this formula First class mark is 360. 360 minus h by 2. H by 2 means half of the size of the class. That is 20. So x minus h by 2. That is 360 minus 20. That is 340. This is the lower limit of the class. 342. Next x plus h by 2. 360 plus h by 2 value is 20. 360 plus 20. 380. so this is the first class interval of the given data like that we can construct remaining 400 minus 20 that is 380 2 400 20h by 2 value that is 420 next class interval 440 minus 20 that is 420 next 440 plus h by 2 that is 20 so 460 next class interval 480 minus h by 2 that is 20 480 minus 20 462 two. 480 plus 20 that is 500 next class interval 520 minus 20 that is 500 Next, five hundred twenty plus twenty. That is five forty. 
next 560 minus 20 that is 540 next 560 plus 20 580 by using this formula we can construct the class intervals like this and write the given frequencies 100 125 140 95 80 60 these are the frequencies of the given data observe this one 340 to 380 difference is 40 so we can take 40 40 difference on x axis 1 cm as 40 units and here these all are multiples of 5 so we can take the 1 cm as 5 units on y axis up to 125 is there so 1 cm as 10 units on y axis also no problem draw x axis y axis and the graph sheet like this next take y axis take x axis y axis like this x x dash y y dash take 1 cm as 40 units on x axis take 1 cm as 10 units on y axis x axis represents marks of the students y axis represents number of students here the difference in it 1 cm as 40 units 1 cm as 40 units but here the first one is 1 cm as 0 340 means 340 units so we should not take the like this so you use kink here On x axis, we have to take same units on 1 cm, but here the difference is there. So, to avoid this difference, you should keep this symbol kink. So, first one is class 340 to 380 is 100. So, the marks is 100, 340 to 380. So, that is 100. So, you take dry line segment that is 340 to 380 at 100 and join up to x axis the borders this is 340 this represents 380 so this is a rectangle histogram consists of rectangles like this and right next second one is 380 to 420 that 125 this represents 120 this represents 130 so middle line this represents 125 take carefully 380 to 420 only 380 to 420 so join to x axis this borders this is 125 next one is 420 to 460 60 that is 140 this represents 140 420 to 460 140 join this one 420 to 460 join this line up to x axis this one is also join up to x axis so 420 to 460 that is 140 next one 460 to 500 that is 95 460 to 500 that is 95 this represents 90 
this represents 100 so middle line medium line so 460 to 500 this is 95 between 90 and 100 you take up to 500 so join this one so 460 to 500 that is 95 next one is 500 to 540 that is 80 so this represents 80 join up to 500 to 540 and join to x axis this represents 80 next 540 to 580 that is 60 so 60 540 to 580 that is this is 50 this is 60 so join up to 580 only This is a 60. So this is the required histogram of the given data. Next scale on x axis 1 centimeter is equal to 40 units. On y axis 1 centimeter is equal to 10 units so this is the required graph of the given data if you like this video please like it and share it to your friends or classmates and subscribe for more videos thank you thank you